compared to here. See? Mm, in fairness, I'm loving this. Hey stars, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tara and passing it on is my passion in skincare, makeup, beauty, travel, food, fashion, style, motherhood, ministry, lifestyle. So if you guys are interested, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I have new videos. For today's video, I will be doing a first impression review on the famous tinted sunscreen from Lux Organics. I am so excited. So in this video, I will be sharing with you information about this, the swatch, doing a flashback test as well. And of course, at the end, my initial thoughts about this. Why initial? Because it is a first impression review. So if you wanna know more, stick around because I'm here to pass it on. Lux Organics Ultimate Defense Tinted Sunscreen SPF 50 PA++ provides UVA and UVB protection that defends skin from harmful rays that causes aging and skin pigmentation, while also giving enough coverage to hide uneven skin tone. It contains additional benefits of antioxidants like galactomyces ferment filtrate and vitamin C to keep skin hydrated and radiant all throughout the day. Packaging looks like this. Pink and white, very dainty, and I love that the information about this product is written all over the box. It is very important to know, of course, what you are putting on your face, what you're putting on your skin. So it is a tube type and very sleek, silky, pearly white finish. And again, all the information that is written here are also here. Very good. is definitely sealed it has a foil as you can see I am in the shade natural okay wow so it is quite quite it is quite runny I didn't even press the tube and product already went out see okay so as you can see it is a bit runny now I'm going to apply it on this side of my face so that we can see the difference and I'm gonna be using my fingertips because that is how I normally apply any any makeup base, any tinted sunscreen, foundation, tinted moisturizer. But on this side of my face, I am going to apply it using a beauty blender and a foundation brush for the sake of those who'd rather apply this using either. And it actually says right here, how to use on clean face after skin preparation. Place small dots on face and evenly spread using fingertips, brush, or a damp makeup blender. So, but for me, it really depends on where you're comfortable. So since it is quite runny, it is very easy to blend. I am sure of that. Which I like actually. It's too soon to say, but I am loving the application, guys. 
It has like a subtle, floral, fresh scent. I don't know if you can see it on your screens, but here, what I can see is that it evened out my skin tone. It has a little bit of blurring effect. It didn't cover so much the redness here, but it doesn't really bother me because my concealer can do the job anyways. And it's giving me a little bit of glow, as you can see. Compared to here, see? Mm, in fairness, I'm loving this. seamless even when I'm using a beauty or makeup blender or a foundation brush wow good job Now let's do the flashback test. Before I give you my initial thoughts about this or my review, allow me to give you more information about this product. So this retails at 349 pesos and you can purchase this online through Watson's or Beauty Avenue in Shopee. I'm just gonna place the links at the description box or in any Watson's store. Now, I am in the shade Natural. This is made in Korea, and some of its claims right here, lightweight, check, smooth finish, check, no white cast, check. So for my review, for my initial thoughts about this, number one, packaging. I love their packaging. It's just that, as you can see, see? I did not even squeeze the tube and the product was already coming out. So this might be a challenge or a problem. It might be messy. I'm not really sure, but we'll see on my full review. For its usability, it is very easy to apply, very easy to blend, ease of use 10 over 10 as what you've seen a while ago. I was really enjoying the application. And for its quality, it could mean its um, formula, its ingredients. It is claiming to have antioxidants like galactomyces ferment filtrate and vitamin C, which is really good. But right now, I'm really loving the finish on my skin. It's really giving me that healthy, dewy look. However, this is just my concern though. It's too soon to say because I haven't done a wear test yet. This is the first time I've used this product since it's giving me that dewy, glowy, glossy look already. And since I have combination to oily skin, I'm afraid after two hours or after four hours, my face will be very oily. But of course, I can always use a powder. We'll see. I will update you guys on my full review on this. I will show you a wear test, but for its quality right now, I love it. And it has no white cast. 
and for its availability it is available online available in watson's physical store so very good and for its longevity again i cannot give you feedback on that right now i will give you a full review i will show you a wear test how it looks like in four hours in eight hours so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so if you ask me right now do i recommend this i can't say yes i can't say no but am i loving it right now i am definitely loving this right now good job lux organics in the last episode i did a first impression review on the tinted sunscreen from sun glow if you haven't checked that out i'm just gonna place the card right here i also was able to do a first impression review on the Bello Tinted Sunscreen as well. If you haven't checked that out, I'm gonna place the card right here. And so you know where this is going. I am very excited to do a comparison video of these three affordable tinted sunscreens. Which one is better? Which one is the best among the three if you were to choose? If I were to choose so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I have new videos if you like this video and if you find this video helpful give it a thumbs up if you have any questions please feel free to drop a comment down below and if you haven't already please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I have new videos let your light shine, stars. God bless. Bye.